with another meal, okay? This meal is very easy. It's very simple. You want to get your eggs, put them in a pot, boil them for 10 minutes, okay? Then after they boil for 10 minutes, put them in an ice bath. Why? They told me it's supposed to make the shell come off a little simpler, a little easier for you. Um, the first one I did, it worked out pretty well. But the next two, oh, baby, I butchered them eggs, y'all. So I need a foolproof way to crack an egg or to de-shell an egg without tearing it up. Let me know in the comment section, please, if you have any ideas because the, the ice bath doesn't do a trick. I still tore my eggs up, okay? Then next, you want to get that egg and you want to chop it up. Now, as you see, I had three eggs, but then I went down to two eggs, okay? Period. Because I lost one egg with the shell or whatever else. Then after you get them eggs chopped up, you don't have to be super thin. They can be modest, okay? Put some, put you some Thai heat on there, okay? That Thai heat is going to add that lime, citrus flavor seasoning on there. Give you that fiesta flavor, okay? After that, I took me some vegetables. Now, if you don't like no white onion, don't use white onion. You use red onion, yellow onion, whatever onion, no onion. It's up to you. Then I got me a tomato. Don't talk shit about the way I slice this up because my knife is very, 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 very dull. Okay? So, I did, I did the best I could with whatever I had. And I don't expect nothing else less. Okay? Period. So, my tomato's a little thick on one side. I just try to fix it up a little bit for y'all. Okay? Presentation is key. My hamburger bun, I toasted it in the, in the oven for a little bit, okay? But I put these eggs on top of it with the tahini. Oh, baby, I put all them eggs over there. And you see them falling off. But, you know, with me, we start the no egg left behind movement, baby, okay? We leave no eggs behind. We want all our eggs on that sandwich, period. I got me some mustard. You can use whatever mustard you want. Brown mustard, spicy brown mustard, whatever mustard you, you feel like using, it's, that's up to you. Some lettuce on top, tomatoes, them onions on top, boy, and put that top bun on there. Baby, look at that presentation for you. That is a sandwich fit for a king or even a queen, princess, prince. And I'm telling you, and it's less than 300 calories, period.